Hello and welcome to CodeBlaze. Since the last devlog of Bloxy Engine where I showed you how to use the engine, I have implemented several new features. First of all is chunk generation in each and every axis. Next is the proper noise API and finally chunk compression. Other than that, I have been doing major refactoring and improvements of the overall API of the engine. 3D chunk generation should be pretty apparent as you can see the clear height difference in the terrain and to implement such generation in each and every axis the amount of chunks that need to be created increased exponentially and which required a pretty overhaul of the mesh build coordinator and to achieve that a batching system was implemented so now rather than each chunk being built on a separate thread we have around 32 chunks being built on a single separate thread so that way the threads will be utilized more efficiently and also by seeing the terrain landscape it should be apparent to you the noise apis are working and we are getting pretty detailed noise generation here the way the noise api has been implemented is the user or you would be creating noise profiles which will basically tell how a chunk should be filled according to its world position and finally you will be providing in some settings which will contain the parameters on how the actual generation should work so for example here right now i have implemented a 2d noise profile using auburn's fast noise light library and you can see the noise settings currently in effect we have a height of 5 and 2 we can supply a seed a noise type the frequency and also the octaves gain and lacunarity so this will result in a pretty nice and detailed terrain generation so yeah so we have 8000 chunks currently in memory which are occupying about 1.1 gigabyte of memory so this is not at all acceptable especially considering mobile devices and we can certainly do better since a lot of our chunk data is continuous seg uh, segments of the similar block type so rather than representing each block type individually we can represent it once along with the count of how many times that block is being repeated so that is the basis of our compression algorithm so if i close this and enable compression and restart the engine uh, one thing to keep in mind is this compression itself adds a performance hit since we need to decompress the chunks when the meshes are about to be built and initially when the chunks are generated at that time also the chunks are generated in decompressed format so there is a continuous cycle of compression and decompression going on which again poses some thread synchronization issues since we don't want a single chunk to be compressed on one thread and on, and on the same time being decompressed on a separate thread so currently i haven't dealt with those synchronization issues that is something that i have parked for the future but the current objective was to minimize the memory usage as much as possible now one thing to keep in mind is currently my world is made up of of single type of blocks either air or whatever the color i have chosen but if your world is more chaotic uh, like you know, there are many different types of blocks occurring in very small frequencies or uh, rather side by side this compression may actually lead to a downfall in performance and even an increase in memory usage but in our case currently you can see for about 8000 chunks the same, same number as previously we are using about only 60 megabytes of memory and that is because of our compression so whenever uh, currently in memory the chunks are stored in compressed state only while building they are expanded so if i move around you can see the performance impact it is pretty small uh, not that big and it may look more exaggerated due to i am recording also currently and that puts a heavy impact on my system but uh, for now this compression is good enough to reduce the memory usage and keep the fps above 300 if i am not recording so for the future improvements the first thing that i'm going to try is a uh, culling mechanism so currently all the chunks around the player are being processed for mesh building and we actually don't need that we only need to process the chunks that are actually visible uh, this way we can save a large amount of processing power 
so if, if you can see our chunk pool updates around 153 chunks are being processed and this should ideally be around 20 or 30 rest all chunks are not visible or are just empty air blocks which again are not visible so with that and the other thing that i want to try is the job system and the burst compiler i want to see how much of a gain i can get by using the native containers and the job system and these both improvements are towards the performance side and from the feature side definitely i'm going to try and generate the ambient occlusion rather than using an ssa or filter also i want to try texture maps or textures with the greedy mesh generation so that's it for this devlog i hope you liked it and you can subscribe to follow along with the development of this engine and if you have any suggestions or feedback please leave them down below in the comments thank you